Blackmagic Design's B-Raw codec comes in two flavors, constant bitrate and constant quality. With constant bitrate, you can easily predict the size of the file that you'll generate with some simple testing. No amount of motion or other variables such as deep or narrow focus will affect the file size. As the name implies, the results will produce a constant and predictable file size. This is not the case with constant quality. This is a variable bitrate version of the codec whose file sizes produced are most certainly affected by what content is recorded to the sensor. Originally, I had made the incorrect assumption that it was motion that affected this, but that was not the case. Let's have a look at exactly what does affect the size of the files produced by constant quality. We'll examine Q0 setting as well as the Q5 setting and contrast the results. The setup for testing is, the camera is the Ursa Mini Pro G1, the lens is a Rokinon 50mm T1.5 Prime. I will use Color Science version 5, but that really has no impact on any of this. The camera is set to 24 frames per second, ISO 800, and 5500 Kelvin white balance. I'll record the clips at 4.6K in B-RAW. I will shoot 15 second clips, two in Q0 and two in Q5. One clip will be with the lens wide open, producing a shallow depth of field, and the other will be at T22, producing a wide field of focus. And as you will see, this is what affects the size of the clips produced. We'll start with Q5 and a shallow depth of field. For this clip, 15 seconds of footage produced a 286 megabyte sized clip. Pretty decent for a 4.6K image. For the second clip, I closed the lens to T22 and used ND6. Again, the clip is 15 seconds long and it produced a file that is 490 megabytes in size over 200 megabytes larger than the shallow DOF shot that we just looked at. Let's move on to the Q0 clips. Again, the clip is 4.6K resolution and it is 15 seconds in duration. The lens is at T1.5, producing a shallow depth of field. This clip weighed in at almost 1.4 gigabytes. Our last clip here with the lens closed to T22 and again running for 15 seconds. This final clip weighs in at almost 1.9 gigabytes in size, about half a gigabyte larger just due to the amount of the frame that is in focus. Here you can see the final numbers produced by this test. You can also see the differences between Q0 and Q5 at each of the focus settings and the differences are significant. So if you're trying to keep track of how much space you'll use with constant quality, the amount of the image in focus is the largest influencer of that size. I hope this helps someone out there. If you liked the video, please hit like as that helps other folks find it. And until the next video, take care.